Snapping turtles are bioindicators of the degree of contamination found in the Great Lakes wetlands, but are secure and common within the provincially significant menacing wetlands. The ecological importance of the Great Lakes communities is increasingly being recognized. More than 90% of the Great Lakes habitats occurring at limestone bedrock have been destroyed or substantially degraded, but conservation efforts now recognize their importance as habitats for rare plants and animals. Human development damages the quality. However, progress is being made in protecting and restoring critical habitats. Critical contaminants in the Great Lakes include chloridane, DDT, mercury, sediment, and suspended solids, metals, nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen, PBBs, and PCBs. Non-point source pollution comes from many different sources and is extremely difficult to regulate and control. Many experts believe that this is the top hazard affecting the Great Lakes today. The main sources are runoff from rain and melting snow that picks up pollutants along the way, ending up in the Great Lakes. Some of the more common pollutants include fertilizers, pesticides, oil, salt from highways, and eroding shorelines. Point source pollution can be traced to a specific discharge point and owner. Therefore, it has been the easiest source of pollution to control and regulate. Industrial water discharges and sewage treatment plants are the main sources of this type of pollution. These pollutants include many different organic and inorganic substances, including human waste and toxic metals. Snapping turtles have been used as bioindicators of contamination in the lower Great Lakes area. Studies were done using eggs from various areas of concern within the Great Lakes Basin. The test results indicated that snapping turtle development was influenced by the amount of exposure to various contaminants and the main routes of exposure for the turtles are maternal transfer, diet, and aqueous exposure through the eggshell. Snapping turtles are endangered due to their life history strategy, up to 20 years to reach maturity. Like humans, they reach maturity in their teens, produce few offspring, and live for decades. Egg and juvenile mortality is as high as well as the loss of older turtles, and this has had major negative impacts on the population. Over time, research has been done to evaluate the Great Lakes areas, and it was found that the population of the snapping turtle was a good indicator of the health of the watershed and wetland that was studied. The population and the number of breeding turtles are indicators of a healthy ecosystem. The primary threats to the snapping turtle are habitat loss, roadkill, and contamination. Landscape and environmental changes greatly affect these populations. Pollution, especially pesticides, disrupt these turtles and is known to cause sexual reversal in the reptile and the decrease. Snapping turtle eggs collected from the Great Lakes area resulted in a decrease in hatchling success and varying deformities in the hatchlings, which provided insight to contamination exposure. The International Joint Commission designated 42 geographical regions as area of concerns within the entire Great Lakes Basin based upon impairment of beneficial use or ability of the regions to support aquatic life. The varying deformities among the hatchlings included the tails that were longer than normal, bent or no tail, the spine which grew through the shell which contained ridges not consistent with turtle normality, the head larger or smaller than normal, or for this hatchling being born without any sight. The 
toes were inconsistent with too many or not enough appendages, or for this hatchling being born with a club foot. The close association between deformities occurring in the same animal was initially surprising and suggested that these deformities may represent severe developmental trauma, which is likely to have a greater impact. Snow Valley is a northeast spur of the menacing wetlands that extends upstream along Willow Creek toward. This area supports a mosaic of marsh, swamp, and mixed swamps and contains four significant water courses, namely the Nottawasaga, Mad River, Willow Creek, and Quartz Creek, which provides habitats for many species, including the snapping turtle. The wetland is inaccessible by road for much of its 6,000 hectares within the spring water, clear view, and esotent. Within menacing wetlands, the majority of snapping turtle habitats are within the Snow Valley area. The Simcoe Rail Trail System through Mayor's Marsh provides nesting substrate for both snapping and painted turtles. In the 2006 report, snapping turtles were ranked as S5, secure, common, widespread, and abundant within the menacing wetlands. Snapping turtles are an important part of the ecological balance. Their movement between wetlands and terrestrial habitats create a link between ecological systems and loss of the species would create a void in the overall balance. They are consumers of both plants and other animals and are links to the energetic webs in both aquatic and tourist Euro ecosystems. As prey for other animals, the eggs, juveniles, and adults, they are sources of energy to the links in the food web. 25% of the world's wetlands are located right here in Canada, while approximately 70% have been lost or destroyed in the developed areas of the country. The wetlands of the Great Lakes watersheds are critical to the health of the largest freshwater ecosystem in the world. These wetlands support millions of waterfowl, hundreds of other fish, and wildlife species, and play an important role within the watersheds to maintain and improve water quality, reduce flooding, and recharge. Human impacts on wetlands and wildlife habitat are among the highest on the continent. Over the next six years, Ducks Unlimited has a goal to protect and restore over 18,000 acres of wetland habitat and to work with public and private sector partners to conserve a further 175,000 acres across priority landscapes in southern Ontario, including the Great Lakes Basin. The snapping turtle is Canada's largest terrestrial or freshwater reptile. The tr truth of the matter is, a pond is healthier with the presence of snapping turtles than one without them. Snapping turtles eat the weakened, injured, and sick fish, thus reducing the risk of disease or illness being spread to healthy, vital fish, making fish populations healthier. Given that there has been little investigation of their influences on ecosystems, it is likely that snappers perform other functions that are, as of yet, undiscovered. Snapping turtles have become a useful species in environmental education through organizations such as the Kawartha Turtle Trauma Centre in Peterborough, Ontario. The centre not only rehabilitates injured turtles, but offers programs to educate people about the impact they have on turtles and other wildlife. Last but not least, as of the 2008 report from the Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada, the snapping turtle is a species of special concern and is on the decline in Canada.